laws concerning the duty of the community and observing the authority of Yahweh's laws and Yahweh's anointed. Law number 171. Every male 20 years old and above must give half a shekel to the house of Yahweh annually. Exodus 30 verse 12 to 16. When you take the census of the children of Israel to count them, each one must pay Yahweh a ransom for his life at the time he is counted. Then no plague will come on them when you number them. This is what every one among those who are numbered shall give. Half a shekel according to the shekel of the sanctuary, about one-fifth ounce. The half shekel is an offering to Yahweh. Everyone included among those who are numbered, being twenty years old and above, shall give an offering to Yahweh. The rich shall not give more, and the poor shall not give less than half a shekel. Given an offering to Yahweh to make atonement for yourselves. And you shall take the atonement money of the children of Israel, and you shall appoint it for the service of the tabernacle of meeting, that it may be a memorial for the children of Israel in front of Yahweh to make atonement for yourselves. Law number 172. Listen to and obey Yahweh's anointed servant, the overseer of the house of Yahweh. Deuteronomy 18, 15 through 19. Yahweh, your father, will raise up for you a prophet like me from the midst of your brothers, him you must listen to. For this is what you asked of Yahweh at Horeb on the day you gathered together, saying, Let us not hear the voice of Yahweh our father, nor see this great fire any more, or we will die. Then Yahweh said to me, What they have spoken is the truth. I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their brothers, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he will tell them everything I command him. Whoever will not listen to my words, which he speaks in my name, I will judge him for it. Law number 173. The king must be appointed by Yahweh. Deuteronomy 17 verse 15. Then be sure you set a king over you whom Yahweh your father chooses. He must be from among your own brothers. He must not be a foreigner who is not your brother. Law number 174. Listen to and obey Yahweh's anointed priests, the body of elders of the house of Yahweh, under the direction of the overseer of the house of Yahweh. Deuteronomy 17, 9 to 11. Go to the priests who are Levites and to the judge who is in office at that time. Ask for their decision and they will give you the sentence of judgment. You must act according to the sentence they pronounce for you at the place Yahweh chooses. Be careful to do all they order you to do. According to the law that they teach you, you shall do. And according to the decision that they give you, you shall do. You must not turn aside to the right hand nor to the left from the sentence they pronounce for you. Law number 175. Speak the truth when testifying in a lawsuit or an investigation. Exodus 23 verse 2. Do not follow the crowd in doing evil when you give a testimony in a lawsuit. Do not pervert justice by siding with the crowd. Law number 176. The priests and their assistants must be chosen by Yahweh. Deuteronomy 16 verse 18. You must appoint judges and officers in all the cities Yahweh your father gives you from each of your tribes and they shall judge the people with righteous judgment. Law number 177. The priests of the house of Yahweh chosen by Yahweh must judge the people impartially according to Yahweh's laws. Leviticus 19 verse 15. Do not pervert judgment. You shall not show partiality to the poor nor honor to the person of the great. In righteousness you shall judge your brother fairly. Law number 178. Whoever is aware of evidence in a case must speak up and testify. Leviticus 5 verse 1. If a person sins because he does not speak up when he hears a public charge to testify regarding something he has seen or knows about, he will be held responsible. Law number 179. The testimony of witnesses shall be examined thoroughly by the priests. Deuteronomy 13 verse 14. Then you must inquire, probe, and investigate it thoroughly. And if it is true and it has been proven that such an abomination was committed among you. Law number 180. False witnesses shall be judged according to the law. Deuteronomy 19 verse 19. Then do to him as he intended to do to his brother. In this way you will purge the evil from among you. Law number 181. When a person is found murdered and the murderer is unknown, the prescribed ritual must be performed. Deuteronomy 21, 1 to 9. If anyone is found slain, lying in a field in the land Yahweh your father has given you to possess, and it is not known who killed him, then your elders and your judges shall go out and measure the distance from the body to the neighboring cities. Then the elders of the city nearest the body shall take a heifer that has not been worked and which has not pulled with a yoke and lead her down to a valley that has not been plowed or planted 
and where there is a flowing stream. There in the valley they are to break the heifer's neck. The priests, the sons of Levi, shall come near, for Yahweh your father has chosen them to minister and to pronounce blessings in the name of Yahweh and to decide all cases of controversy and assault. Then all the elders of the city nearest the body shall wash their hands over the heifer whose neck was broken in the valley. And they shall declare, Our hands did not shed this blood, nor did our eyes see it done. Accept this atonement for your people Israel, whom you have redeemed, O Yahweh, and do not hold your people guilty of the blood of an innocent man, and the bloodshed shall be atoned for. In this way you will purge from yourselves the guilt of shedding innocent blood, since you have done that which is right in the sight of Yahweh. Law number 182. Six cities of refuge in the land of Israel must be established. Numbers 35, 11 to 13. Then appoint cities to serve as your cities of refuge where a person who accidentally kills someone may flee. They shall be cities of refuge from the blood of vengeance so that a person accused of murder may not die before he stands in judgment in front of the congregation. Of all the cities you give, six shall be cities of refuge. Law number 183. The priests and Levites must be given cities to live in. Numbers 35, 2 to 3. Command the children of Israel to give the Levites cities to live in from the inheritance they will possess. Also give the Levites the common land around these cities. They shall have these cities to live in and the open land around them shall be for their cattle, herds, and animals. Law number 184. Build a guardrail around a roof. If it is flat and used as living space and a guard against hazards in the home. Deuteronomy 22 verse 8. When you build a new house, then you must make a parapet for your roof, so you may not bring the guilt of bloodshed upon your house if anyone falls from it. 